It's celebration time as this is officially the 200th video for the channel. And I couldn't be prouder of the things we've achieved here together as a community. Just know that no matter who you are or where you are in the world, and no matter how you choose to shine the light of your life on others, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being here. This channel wouldn't be the same without you. All right, you came here for Xbox gaming and Windows 11, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Check it out. To start gaming in Windows 11, you'll need an Xbox Game Pass subscription. The wonderful thing about it is you can literally get started for just one measly dollar. From the link in the description, click on the See All Plans button. And on the Plans page, navigate down until you see the list of choices. If you're just planning on PC gaming of your Xbox games, you can select the PC plan. But if you're planning on gaming on PC and your Xbox game consoles, you'll want to select the Game Pass Ultimate. Pick the plan that best suits your interest and enjoy your first month of gaming for just one dollar. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to become part of the conversation. As you're going to be playing Xbox games on your PC, you'll likely want to pair either a wired or wireless Xbox controller with your system. Click the search icon in the bottom tray and in the top left search bar type the word Bluetooth. Then click on Bluetooth and other devices to access your Bluetooth settings on your PC. In the top right corner, make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. Then directly underneath that, click on the Add Device button. From the list of choices, click on Bluetooth. Make sure your Xbox or other game controller is in Bluetooth pairing mode so that it will show up in your Add a Device list. When you see your controller in the list of options, click on it to pair it with your PC. Once the pairing process is complete, you can click Done in the bottom right corner and then close out the Bluetooth settings window and go back to your Windows desktop. Windows 11 has a dedicated Xbox app. To access the app, click the Windows Start button. When the Windows Start menu appears, select the Xbox app from the list of choices. When the app launches for the first time, it will almost certainly require an update. It will take care of this automatically, just leave it alone to do its brief update and it will launch again. You'll be presented with this pop-up window helping you discover new content for your Xbox subscription. Once you're done reviewing this, click the X in the top right corner to close out. You'll need to sign into your newly created Xbox Game Pass account. Click on the profile icon in the top right corner and select Sign In. Then sign in with your credentials to access your Xbox Game Pass account in Windows 11. Why, thank you very much. It's great to be back. Let's look at how to navigate the interface for the Xbox app in Windows 11. One of the most common things you'll want to do is browse games and see what's new inside your Xbox Game Pass subscription. To do this, come down to the button in the bottom left corner to open the side navigation pane. Then in the menu selections, click on Browse Game Pass. Then come down to the bottom left corner and click on Collapse. For a service that only claims to have over 100 games available, I was stunned to find that there were over 325 games available for the PC subscription for Xbox. Some of these titles will rotate in and out month to month, but it was just incredible to see how much value this subscription has for Windows 11. You can also use search filters to find content you're interested in. Let's look at some 60 frame per second games as this video itself is 60 frames per second. Of the choices shown here, I'm going to select Yakuza Like a Dragon. Select your game by clicking on the box art, then click the green install button to install the game. You'll be asked which drive on your computer you want to install to. Select the drive where you want your game to live, then scroll down and click install. You can navigate around the app while your games are installing, and if you want to check the installation progress, just reopen the slide out menu on the side and you'll see the installation progress indicated here. Once your game has finished installing, you can launch it by going to the My Collection icon on the left side of the screen and clicking on it. If you don't see anything immediately in your collection, just scroll down on the page and you'll see any games that you've installed listed below. Here's Yakuza Like a Dragon. Click on the game, then click on the green play button to launch it. The game you select may ask for access to your Xbox account in order to share save game information, game progress, and other key information. See, aren't you glad you learned how to connect your Xbox controller to your PC wirelessly earlier? Yeah, no way we're taking this challenge on without one. Now that your games are up and running, check out this video here, shown on screen in the desktop browsing experience and linked in the pinned comment and description below.